Cause that right there is a Fadoli Tepecana Queen. Holy shit, snake. What even is this? Hello everybody! Today we are in the lovely Pajarito Mountains, or some of you probably know it as Peña Blanca Lake, as per previous uh, videos of mine. Um, I'm actually not at the lake right now, I'm in a, you know, neighboring pullout, but we're gonna get to the lake at some point. But regardless, super biodiverse area in Arizona, super excited, so let's see what we find. Very nice. We have some tenure roaster tunnels, tenure roasters. And there you can see some of the Nasut soldiers. Very, very cool. Well, I wasn't filming initially, but I just flipped some Neva Mermax. Got chambers all up in there. Ooh, Arizona smooth claw scorpion, I think. Very gravid, too. Oh, oh, big old Odontomachus colony and a little thief ant colony right next door. Oh, and there's the Odontomachus queen. <laughs> oh, and tenure roast returnies. Sweet, mature Claris colony. I'm not gonna collect them, but just look at that queen. Very nice. So the GoPro actually ran out of storage, which must have given me good luck. Cause that right there is a Fadoli Tepecana queen. Super, super exciting. Alright, I deleted some old footage that, you know, has already been edited and uploaded. And, uh, so I guess now, let me put those rocks back better, that was embarrassing. Uh, now, let's, uh, go ahead and keep looking. Hopefully, charging this GoPro didn't just obliterate my luck. Because, uh, you know, knowing how luck works... I could see it. Huh. Oh, what is that spider? Look at that thing. It's got some really cool colors. Look at the colors on that thing. Very impressive. Thank you for sitting still, by the way. I appreciate it. Oh, Rare Queen. <laughs> Beautiful. Such, such a marvelous ant that is. I almost, I didn't even realize it was the queen at first. I thought it was a super major, but then I noticed that the colony was, was smaller. Yeah, very cool. Gonna go ahead and put her back too. Don't want to be over collecting a species like this. Especially this colony, it's doing well. It's in a good area. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave them alone. As much as it pains me, as much as I know I could sell that colony for, it's the right thing to do to uh, leave a colony like that. And oh, we've got more Tepecana here. 
not seeing any queen or any solenopsis workers. Because I am on the lookout for my solenopsis species. The one that I found in the uh, video that I'll have linked probably in an iCard and in the description. Some like that. But cool, we found a Rhea Queen. Very nice. Oh, another big ass lizard under there. Oh. <laughs> what is it doing? Oh, that's not a lizard, that's a fucking rat. It is a rodent. Rodentia. It's gone. <laughs> It was running so fast, it looks like a lizard, but some kind of rodent. Rat or, man, it didn't really look like a rat, but I don't know, some kind of rodent. <laughs> Yo, look at how fat this chromatic acid queen is. This is actually awesome. There's one thing in life that I really like. It's gotta be fat ant queens. Boy, does this ever satisfy. Look at all those eggs. There's some pupae there. Pre-pupae. But... Big ol' semi-testaceous. I'd describe them as being a relatively uninteresting Campanotus, but... They're pretty large and have decent colors, so there's certainly nothing to complain about. Kind of half expecting there to be a queen with just how many workers there were, but nope. Big female tarantula. Let's see if I can get her to come out. Wow. Look at that spider, guys. What a beautiful animal. Go ahead and just plug up her burrow there so she doesn't get away from us. Just like that, folks. Big, beautiful female Aphonopelma chalcodes, Arizona blonde tarantula. Holy shit, snake! What even is this? What the fuck? Did, what did I just find? Maybe I shouldn't be holding it if I don't know what it is, but... What kind of snake is this? Check this dude out. So apparently, if my friend is correct, it's a thorn scrub hook nose snake or something. And uh, I'll see if I can get a picture of it. But he does have a little hook on his nose. I don't know how I'm going to be able to. He's certainly not a fan of me handling him, so I am going to go put him back. But this is a pretty rare snake. Like, this is actually a really, really, really good find. So needless to say, I'm very happy about it.
He's pretty big too. If you guys can see, I set my shovel over there where uh, the rock that I found him under. We're gonna go ahead and let him get right back in there. So I don't wanna get too close, but under this crack in the rock, a bunch of neotropical paper wasps all huddled up. Very cool. So for the last little bit of today we're gonna be in this more oaky you know forested area looking for some stuff that uh, really likes this microhabitat more than the more uh, open areas that I've been in previously. So. Tracky Mermax Arizonensis. I was kind of wondering when we'd come across these guys. They are not particularly rare in the area, so I'm a little surprised even that it took as long as it did to uncover a colony. Been a while since I've seen these guys. Formica forelliana. I kind of forgot they were down here, honestly. Wow. Look at the size of this trachea mermaid colony. They even have fungus at the surface. They're under the rock. Not seeing their queen. Looks like they did a pretty good job of keeping her somewhere safe, but very cool to see them with fungus, because you usually do not. So we got another tarantula here. Not entirely sure what kind it is. I think it's a female, but it's definitely not a Chalcotes. Like, it's got kind of juvenile coloration, but it's, it's not... You know, if it was a Chalcotes at this point, it would have its adult coloration. So I don't really, I don't know what this is. Very interesting. So that's going to mark the end of it for this uh, here video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we found a lot of good stuff. That snake was awesome. Uh, the tarantulas. Uh, what else did we find? The Tepicana Queen was amazing. So lots of good stuff in this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's a little early. It's only 1 o'clock. I'm already calling it because I have a class to get to at 4.40 at ASU in Phoenix, so I have a three hour drive and then I get to go sit in class. So that'll be fun, but this was a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And yeah, thank you for watching.